Um, so, like I said, there's three of these, yeah, all the way through. Which basically means you've got one going from left to right, so you do left, then you do a right, and you've got one going right to left. So you actually have two in sequence, it's just two sequence, it's a sequence of two done twice. Does that make sense? Yeah? So you've got left into right, and that's also right into left. Alright? So we'll start the same way. He throws the, the, the jab or the straight, the cover, and I do this. And now, whichever one I do from there is really my left. If, I, if, if he pulls his arm back and I end up pinning it, that's fine, I can still do the technique. But we'll start off with just grabbing and pulling this way. So here, what I want you to do is roll on this arm like we were doing um, was it last week or the week before, where we were doing this. Yeah, this a similar kind of thing. So from here, boom, twist, pull to the hip. Yeah, from there, Joe's not got any hair, so you make it difficult for me. Uh, if you've got partners got hair, you can pull the hair. If not, you can reach around and grab the <laughs> There. And then from there, I'm just, I can just keep striking. Alright? <laughs> or you can grab the back of the key top, it doesn't matter. Yeah. One, two, three. From there, that's a strike as well. Don't forget. So but be careful with it. There's a strike. You can grab the arm, just from there, just from there. Whatever. Just pull him back. And then from there, the punch just is wherever it presents itself. Okay? So that's essentially why you've got the next one. One, two. Down and forward. Now, obviously, that in, in that sequence is unlikely to happen. It, in reality, it just is. It's very unlikely I'm going to block a punch and I'm going to keep hold of his arm long enough to do that whole sequence. Alright? But if we're scrapping away and eventually we get this kind of tussle here, that is quite natural. Yeah, I've done that before in sparring as well. You just, you just feel an arm, you're scrapping away, you just go, oh, there. And then I can catch something. I might not need the rest of the technique, I might just use the first bit and follow on how I want. Does that make sense? So even though you've done what looks like two blocks of punches, you've actually got way more in there. You've got one cover, you've got a parry and a bridge, you've got a punch, you've got an elbow lock, you've got like a neck crank, and extra stuff. Yeah? Have a play with it. Just don't butcher each other too much. A little bit of 